What's up guys? I hope you're doing well. My name is Alex and thank you so much for joining me on Discover Marine. Today we'll be taking a look at the Red Sea LED 50 Lite. We'll be cracking open the box, installing it on the tank and also taking a quick look at the software. If you missed our previous video, make sure you hit subscribe and take a look. We unboxed the Red Sea Max Nano and took a look at all the accessories. So let's not wait any longer. Let's crack this light open and see what it looks like. Okay guys, this is the box that you get with the Red Sea Max Nano for the Reef LED 50. Obviously the LFS version will be slightly different with box art, etc. Uh, the light itself is great, it really looks cool, it's got a great form factor, it's sturdy, it's quite heavy, it's well made, and it looks like you could take a beating if it wanted to. Uh, inside the pack you also get the PSU obviously and a mounting arm specifically designed for the Red Sea Max Nano. Uh, from NLFS you can get a different style of mounting arm which looks very similar but is appropriate for most other reef tanks. The universal mounting arm is designed for tanks with a width of 36 to 51 centimeters and a glass thickness of 8 to 15 mil. Both the universal and the Red Sea Max Nano mounting arm have a great feature where you can rotate the light to the side for when you're doing maintenance. So when your hands are in the tank, you're not going to get the light wet, which is a great feature. So why don't we take a look at how we assemble the light. So assembling the light is really straightforward. If you're familiar with Lego, you basically want to start off by knolling, which is the process of placing all of your pieces out in front of you so you can quickly and efficiently find them. You want to first take the plastic bracket, insert the M3 screws into the light and gently screw them in. Go slowly with this process, you don't want to wear out the threads or scratch the light. Once this process is complete, you're pretty much there already. You've just got to take the black hinge-like structure made of plastic and attach this with the screw provided to the metal extrusion. You then take this black hinge-like structure and attach it to the bracket at the back of the light and you attach this by inserting two plastic screws into the side. This will then allow your light to rotate slightly up or down just to stop some light escaping into the room and angle it for your corals as well. Now this is where the fun really begins because we're one step closer to getting light above the tank. Now if you've got the Red Sea Max Nano, you will be supplied with a Red Sea Max power controller. This is also supplied with two plastic nuts and these basically go into the back of the tank. Obviously if you've got a different tank, you will just simply adjust the mounting arm for the width of your tank and you're pretty much done. So you see these two holes on the back of the tank. They're not there to let water out, they are plastic plugs designed to take these screws. So simply you want to take these screws, insert them through your power centre into the tank. Now although these plastic screws are really well made, you do want to be careful not to trash them with a screwdriver in case you need to take them out for maintenance. So just go slowly and don't rush this process. Once the power centre is firmly attached to the back of the tank, you're pretty much done. The last step is to take the thinnest end of the mounting arm and insert this into the power centre. You do this by rotating it to the one side so that it can firmly lock in. Give it a gentle push and it will lock in and then rotate it to the front and then insert your wire into the slot provided for cable management. Finally, you just want to grab the light from the wire and insert it into the PSU plug and you're good to go. You can then jump on to your app store and download the Reef Beat app. It's pretty self-explanatory, but just jump onto your app store, type in Reef Beat and look for the Red Sea Seahorse logo. Mine was a top result and it should be for pretty much everyone else. This process is applicable to all of the latest Red Sea equipment, whether it be doses, wave makers or lights, because it all uses the Reef Beat app to control them. So basically you want to sign up, find the device and go to your Wi-Fi settings on your phone. You'll see the device listed in the Wi-Fi section and simply connect to it. Then return back to the Reef Beat app and the app will do the hard work for you. After a couple of seconds, it will be connected and as it says on the app, you can rock on and use your device. I had a bit of trouble at first where it wouldn't connect and all I had to do was restart the app and start again. This is a known glitch on some of the forums, so just keep that in mind and don't panic, it will connect. You'll be then greeted with some quick start settings uh, from 12k up to 23k and you can customise the time settings. I kept everything factory for now and I'm going to tweak these settings when I've got some coral in the tank, so we'll see that in an upcoming video. Overall, the app is fantastic. It's really intuitive and it's well designed and crystal clear. Red Sea have stripped back some of the settings that you get from other light manufacturers and I really appreciate that. It's appropriate for a beginner and also an experienced reefer. 
you get a really nice shimmer that is similar to Kessel, but for a budget. And that is something I also really appreciate. Red Sea is straddling that kind of budget to mid range, but giving you a really nice quality light for the money. And finally, as you can see from this Reef LED 50 PAR diagram, at about 25 centimeters depth, you get around 280 PAR, which means that a mixed reef with LPS, SPS, and softies is definitely possible in a nano tank. So there you have it guys, there is the Red Sea LED 50 light. I think it's a cracking bit of kit and it is so well put together. It's easy to install and it's really gonna make the coral shine once we get to that point. If you're enjoying the build so far, please make sure you like, subscribe, and even give it a share. Uh, drop me a comment with any advice you have or just start a discussion. I love talking reef and fish. Uh, so get in touch. I'd love to meet you and talk. Uh, thank you so much for checking out this video. YouTube algorithm is hard to crack. It's hard to get views. So any support you can give me is greatly appreciated. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Next video, we will be taking a look at wave makers and also installing other parts of the equipment such as the skimmer and the return pumps and the outlet. I've also got a custom skate coming, which I'll be doing a review on and we'll be taking a look at the sand at some point. Every aspect of starting this reef, I'm going to document for my benefit and also it might help someone else out. So if you enjoyed this video and you like what you've seen so far, please make sure you hit subscribe and click that bell icon. Take care guys, keep it salty, stay good to each other, peace. Thank you so much for watching guys. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and hit that bell icon.